Really, guys? Matana! Hi, mister. Are you Yagami? Yeah? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Oh, and he said to open it right away. What? Wonderful Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Who the hell are you? Don't... Pardon my rudeness. This is my car. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? Hmm. I see. I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk! Show me what you can do, Yagami-san! Stronger, I 
You're as strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Can't these guys just leave me alone? Sugiura. Yagami-san! No.
遊びに行こうと思ってるから。Excuse me. Huh? Nan nan da yo gora. ありがとうございました。
What happened with Kaito-san? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah. Things were... tough. <sighs> Sounds like you could use some rest, then. Heading out, then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito-san. Now that I know you're safe, too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. It's Mafio. Did I wake you up? You need something? The moles claimed another victim. Another Kyore clan Yakuza. What? Head to the Matsugane family office if you can. All right. I'll be right over. Captain of the Curé clan. You knew him, yes? Mm-hmm. If it was really the Mole, that means his eyes have been gouged out? So I hear. I haven't confirmed it for myself. Better that you don't. <sighs> Who's handling the case? Kuroiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami-kun... What happened last night? With the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Hmm? It's Kuroiwa. He's the mole. <gasps> what? Apparently he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first... 
but eventually he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for 89. <sighs> this won't end. I just confronted Shono the other day. Said I was on to his insane tests. And now... There's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's going to be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not going to stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. <sighs> Completing his drug will save millions. Not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. What are you going to do? Why not walk away? Wish I could. Matsugane-san's death can't go unanswered. He deserves closure. They won't get away with this. The Matsugane family and the Mole mountain assault, and the Kamurocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself, so he reveals to Yagami the Mole's true identity. He is Kamurocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugane's life falls under the shield of 89's powerful benefactors. They held his funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was... an intimate service. The Matsugane family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda-sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito-san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. It was just a matter of finding the proof. Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. 
This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. You say that, yes. In other words, we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No. We still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. Seriously? So it was Kuroiwa all along. Everything makes sense now. Were there ever any warning signs? Nah. <laughs> this might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course. Kind of shit you see every day in Kamurocho. But one day, that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? Well, funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Maybe, just maybe, someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes, with his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs. Let's split up, Oshinokun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, we're done for today. Oh, okay then. We'll see you around, Yagami-san.
Must wait. <laughs> Yagami-san. over.
Nope. Huh? Hey. Huh? You asked for it. The more I drink, the stronger I get. Oh. Hey. This isn't over. <laughs> <laughs> 